Hey everybody! Today we're going to be making these DIY bunny buckets. The supplies you're going to need for it is like a metal or plastic bucket. You can find these at the dollar store or Walmart, Target. You'll want some white adhesive vinyl, a white pom-pom, some transfer tape, weeding tools, a cutting machine. I like to use Cricut. You also need a scraper or credit card to burnish your vinyl with. And you'll want one of these bunny templates and I have one of them for free on the blog. And if you want the full set, you can find those in the shop as well. So let's go ahead and gather our supplies and get started. Once you get your bunny cut out on your cutting machine, you're gonna to need to weed the vinyl. So I'm just showing you a short clip of me weeding my vinyl here. And I do use the Cricut Bright Pad for this. I think it's a good resource. If you don't have a Cricut Bright Pad, you can always hold your vinyl up to a window and let sunlight through it so that it illuminates it and makes it easier. Um, just scale your bunny to whatever size is appropriate for your size bucket. I think mine was about six inches. Um, so just use your judgment based on your bucket. Once you're finished weeding your vinyl, we can move on to placing it onto our bucket. Make sure that the surface of your bucket has been wiped down and is clean so that the vinyl uh, sticks very well to it. I'm just using some clear transfer tape here in order to get my bunny off cleanly onto my transfer tape and then place it onto my bucket. So I'm just gonna cut an appropriate size out here and I'm gonna link everything in the blog post I'm writing for this, all the materials and brands I used. Um, this is a really great roll of transfer tape that's um, it's pretty big and it goes a long way so I'll link all these materials I'm using below if you want to find similar ones. So just go ahead and get your bunny transferred to the transfer tape and we're going to use a credit card or um, you can use like a scraper like if you use Cricut they have a, a, a scraper tool you can use to um, burnish your vinyl so that's what we're going to work on now. Make sure when you're burnishing your vinyl that you're being very uh, firm with it, you're being very thorough. Um, with these letters that we have in here, it's important that you're keeping certain pieces and cutouts of those letters together. So um, when we go to pull it up here in just a minute, you want to go really slow. And if anything isn't coming up with the transfer tape and it isn't sticking to your tape, you want to stop, you want to lay it back down and you want to burnish it again so that you make sure everything comes off cleanly and you're not losing any of your vinyl design. It can be helpful to rub your finger over it, see if you can feel any like air bubbles or anything that you need to get out uh, before you try lifting it up. Okay, now I'm going to slowly and carefully lift my bunny up with my transfer tape. And you're seeing here that some of my pieces didn't pick up where the O is. So I'm going to stop and I'm going to press that down again with my scraper tool until those pick up because I don't want to lose those or I'm going to lose the shape of my letters and it's not going to look right. So I was able to get it to come up after I concentrated just on that specific area. Okay, and my bunny is cleanly off now and I'm going to place it onto my bucket. Now, when you're placing something on a rounded surface, um, it can be a little temperamental, so you want to start at sort of the middle point and then kind of work your way out from there um, and go really slow. The key really is just to go slow. Um, the transfer tape can be a little forgiving so long as you don't push anything down. And my specific bucket does have some ridges where I'm working with the ears. Um, so if you're new to vinyl, I would recommend not getting a bucket that um, has ridges on it or just scaling the bunny smaller so you don't have to try and deal with that factor like I am here. Um, but just work kind of from the middle outwards and go slow and work with your fingers and then we're going to kind of burnish that on in just a minute as well as we lift the tape off. I'm just using my scraper here to make sure that all those little pieces over the letters are gonna stay put when I lift my tape off. So when you're lifting your tape off, again, go slow. If something is still sticking to the tape, make sure you burnish it again, and then go slowly back over it as you lift up. Kind of use like a, a slow rocking motion too can be helpful when moving your tape up. Just get that all taken off there. 
Now, for my specific bucket, my bunny ears, I didn't press them down all the way because I noticed that they weren't laying very well on that little ridge I was mentioning to you. So I'm actually just carefully peeling those ears up here so that I can get them to be a little bit more um, flat and neat looking on the bucket. So this is just something I'm doing for my particular bucket. If you're using one that's completely flat, then um, you won't have this problem. I'm just conforming the uh, vinyl a little bit better to the bucket so it looks smoother um, over the ear part there. The last thing you're going to want to do is just anywhere where you see any little air bubbles, just gently work those out so that everything is nice and smooth on the surface of the bucket. And just gently work those out towards the outer edges. Mine went on pretty smooth uh, for the most part, except for the ear area where I had to like redo it a little bit, but it still turned out pretty good. And this part is optional, but to give my bunny a little bit of three-dimensional look to him, I like to glue over the tail a little white pom-pom so that it looks like a fluffy little bunny tail. <laughs> so these are really great for Easter, obviously, and springtime, so you can make a lot of them. And I hope you enjoyed this simple tutorial, and happy Easter! Find freebies on abbykirstencollections.com or shop this full set of Easter templates on catchingcolorflies.com.